joining us today for our continuing series for our flex movement break. We are focusing on our core back. So beginning today, you will you may need a small towel roll or a medium sized towel roll or something to place your forehead on when we get down onto the mat face down. But starting out today, we will get down to the floor right away. Sitting on your mats, you're gonna go right into that abdominal work as your warm up today, doing that core work of um, the dead bug exercise. So reviewing the dead bugs, you're coming up into that tabletop position. You look like a dead bug, bug on your back. You're gonna engage those lower abdominal muscles and then you're gonna alternate the arm and the opposite leg reaching out and pulling back in. And remember, this is your warm up, so you should feel a little bit of work warming up your core. You're gonna breathe in your nose, exhaling out, knitting those ribs down to the top of those um, hip bones with each time your arm is extending and your leg is extending. Focus more on just breathing when your brain tells you to breathe working that core. Do a couple more. Don't lose your pelvic tilt. Remember, you're gonna to try to pull that basement floor up to your belly button and back. Take a break, going right into your bridge. Let's bridge up for, this is your recovery here. And then slowly lower from that bridge, one vertebrae at a time, like a string of pearls until your tailbone touches down. Then move back up into that bridge. Remember to engage your glutes and your hamstrings on the back side and don't arch your back, okay? So as you come up for that bridge recovery position, you're holding here, nice long line of energy using those glutes and hamstrings, lowering back down. This time when you lower down, you're gonna get back into that dead bug position. We're gonna do one more round of dead bugs, pulling up in a tabletop, alternating arms and legs. Here we go. Remember, this is a nice and slow and controlled exercise that gives your brain the time to connect with those muscles and to um, bring everything into play that needs to be stabilizing your core and working. So you're drawing those muscles up from the basement of your pelvic floor towards your belly button and back towards your spine. And you're trying to hold that position while you extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold on for five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. All right, you can do one bridge here just to open up the hips. And then when you come back down, you're gonna switch over to an all fours position. So you're on your mat in this all fours position and you're gonna go right into a warming the spine up exercise. So cat cow, you've seen this before, you're gonna pull up. When you pull up, you're going to expand through the shoulder blades and draw up those lower abs and then go ahead and relax and sink between the shoulder blades and drop down. Then as you draw back up into that cat position, you're kind of engaging those lower abs again and then sink between the shoulder blades and then draw up again, holding those abs. We're trying to find those lower abs each time you move into that cat position it will help us move into our knee hover. Let's do one more cat cow, drawing those abdominals up here, and then coming back down to just what we call a neutral position, or this is kind of like a reverse tabletop, okay? So from this position, you're gonna draw those lower abs up again, and you're gonna go into a knee hover position. So you're gonna tuck your toes underneath you. You're gonna pull up and get your energy from those lower abs and you're gonna lift those knees off the mat, sink into your shoulder blades, and hold, hold, hold. I want you to hold this. Hold, hold. Keep holding. 
and lower down. And again, you're going to tuck the abs up. Gravity's trying to pull them down. You're gonna pull those knees off the mat. Hold, hold, hold. You're gonna try and hold. Try and hold through your shoulder blades too, okay? That's part of your core. Then slowly lower. You're gonna try that again. So you're gonna pull those knees up, toes are tucked. And I don't want you to push up through your shoulder blades, but I want you to just kind of sink. Hold, hold, hold. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And slowly lower. Why don't you go ahead and rock back into a child's pose. Just kind of stretch out. So you're in that child's pose. And then we're gonna come down and do some more core work for our cervical or our neck and our mid back or mid thoracic. So you're gonna lay flat, um, face down. This is where you might want your towel roll resting your forehead on. Your towel roll, I want you to go back to that exercise. We call this uh, smell something bad. So you're gonna lift your head off the mat using those muscles in the back of the neck as if you're smelling something bad. Now Jared's in this T position. We're gonna build from this uh, smell something bad position. So arms are out to the side in the letter T position. Next, you're going to simultaneously lift your head and squeeze your shoulder blades, raising your arms and back down. Setting those fingertips down on the floor. Then you're going to lift, squeeze shoulder blades, hold, and back down. And you're trying to breathe each time you lift. Don't hold your breath, okay? So smell something bad, chin tuck, lift. So I'm just, I'm kneeling and I'm doing the same action it's just modify. Hold and breathe and back down. We've got two more of those. Okay, so lift everything together as if you're smelling something bad, moving your head and face away from the mat. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Do not allow those shoulders to creep up towards your ears. Take a break. And you're gonna do one more, just like that. You're going to lift, squeeze, pinch those shoulder blades together. Keep the muscles in the back of the neck working. You're not looking up, but you're looking straight down and tucking. Good, and take a break. Continuing with our core, we're gonna get into a Superman position, so you're gonna lie flat on your belly, arms extended, legs extended, and we're gonna get into that Superman position. You're gonna alternate right arm, left leg, for that Superman, and then back down again. So Jared's lying down. When his right leg goes up, his left arm goes up, and he's tucking or squeezing the back of his shoulder blade like it's going in his back pocket. He's using his glute on the lower half, you're gonna to try to ideally keep your arms in kind of a V position and then use that shoulder blade as if you're tucking it down into your back pocket and use your glute as you're lifting your, your leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Actually, I prefer to call these swimmers. This is working your low back and the posterior chain of muscles. And then taking it into a full Superman, you're gonna lift arms and legs simultaneously, pulling up and back down. You should not have any pain in your low back with this. If you are having a little discomfort, um, you could always lay on a pillow 
to create a little more space in that lower back as you work those low back muscles. Let's do two more Supermans. And from your Superman position, you can just prop up onto your elbows, stretching the front of the abdominals. You can come back up into a child's pose if you need to, just to stretch that low back, let those muscles relax. With that child's pose, you're just gonna try and sit a little deeper into your hip sockets as you breathe into your thighs. Your belly should rise into your thighs, exhaling, sinking a little deeper into those hips. We're gonna come back to your mat on your back and end with a little trunk rotation. So in this position, lying down, you're gonna to try to find those abdominals again. You're just gonna to talk to them and secure them. And I just want you to drop your knees side to side, loosening up that back after our work of our core back. And each time your knees drop, you're gonna catch it with the opposite abdominal wall. And if you're dropping to the left, you're gonna catch it with the right abdominal wall. And it's just this continuous motion back and forth, keeping that spine and ribs on your mat there's no, there's no uh, rainbow in your back and there's no just this kind of rocking back and forth. I want you to kind of keep those in, abdominals engaged, rocking back and forth, loosening up the back. This is nice to do in the morning before you actually get out of bed. So this will be part of your homework this week is just before you get out of bed is to do some of this lower trunk rotation, rocking side to side. And then drawing those knees up to your chest, giving yourself a big hug. You can rock from side to side. And again, before you get out of bed in the morning, you could hug your knees up after you rotate that spine and just breathe, massaging the lower back. And then when you're ready, you will extend long Take a big stretch, biggest stretch of your day. Reaching those fingertips to the opposite end of your feet. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Sighing all your worries out. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale one more time and exhale. Perfect. And that ends our core back for today. Thanks for joining us. Your homework this week is those doing those lower trunk rotations with the abdominals and um, being able to hug your knees up towards your chest, and then you can do a few of those bridges that we, we practiced today. And that's your core back for this week. Thank you. Thank you.